Now first we will be creating a uh, we'll be creating a dot cs script and I'll show you how this XML documentation works. So the first thing that we'll be uh, doing is uh, we'll look at how to write this um, documentation commands in our script and then we'll compile it and then we'll see that we will get another XML or extensible markup language file uh, specifically designed to handle all our commands in an XML format. So let's create a new script, uh, go to your file and then choose uh, new file so you'll get this new pop-up window and under the category of C sharp choose an empty file so because we're not going to create any solutions or in the context of uh, Microsoft's uh, C sharp programming solutions are actually full-fledged packaged programs so we're not going to create programs or solutions so we'll be creating this um, separate uh, C sharp scripts and we'll be compiling it using our command prompt as we have seen in earlier videos so let's uh, erase all this and let's start by using the triple forward slash so when we want to tell the compiler that we are going to use an XML XML type comment or a documentation type comment inside our script we need to use this uh, triple forward slash so when we use this triple forward slash we can literally pass in tags or elements inside them like this so suppose we want to create a summary tag and we can move ahead and we can enclose it so you, you can see li literally that this um, compiler is actually helping me to complete this off so this XML is part of C sharp documentation uh, commenting so you can write this is a summary tag in C sharp and C sharp actually supports many other XML commands inside it now if you're not aware of this extensible markup language uh, it's not very important to understand but extensible markup languages are usually used in su in such sort of cases in cases like when we want to create a file structure when we want to create such sort of uh, documentations uh, we need to output that documentation inside uh, inside a web page then we use this XML type uh, file of uh, files so apart from that XML has also other uses in Android applications and also in Windows app uh, Windows applications so we'll, be, we'll, we'll not be moving to that uh, to, to those deeper topics uh, we'll be mostly focusing on the basic parts of XML commenting inside C sharp so let's create some more XML comments so let's see how we can use um, the remark uh, the uh, remarks tags so you can see that uh, the compiler when I put this triple forward slash it goes on and when I actually start with the first uh, with the when, when I want to open when I open up this tag with the uh, less than symbol then it offers me several XML tags you can use any of them for your um, XML file this depends on what sort of what sort of um, output you want so let's use something like um, we can actually use creating maybe we can uh, have a look there are several types so let's stick to two first uh, I won't confuse you by using ma a lot of them but let's stick to this summary and the remarks part now this will be a starting and we can enclose this summary part at the end so let's pass in some remarks so we, we, uh, we can just literally pass in any sort of values or any sort of strings that we want now let's write 
this is a remark the most important part is how you organize this code because it's not really important at this point of uh, time uh, at this point of uh, our lesson so I'm just showing you some basic examples the second thing that's that will be important to us is how to compile this so when we compile this we can actually get uh, we will be actually getting an executable file uh, executable ex XML file that we can l look up in our browser now let's create this this is our first remark let's create another remark this is our second remark as I've told you earlier you can actually use many you can go on and use many other uh, XML tags or elements in your C sharp script now now this triple uh, this triple forward slash or this c documentation commenting actually is uh, they are all one-liners which means that uh, w whatever you type after this uh, whatever you uh, whatever whatever you type after this um, three forward slashes in that s uh, in that specific line it will be considered uh, by the compiler to be a comment after that line it won't be considered to be a comment it, it works contrary to the multi-line commenting now you can really you can actually see this when I start writing C sharp code the compiler moves on to its natural behavior it starts to color up the code that I am uh, going to compile as a C sharp code not as an XML f uh, as an XML code uh, XML markup so let's name our class as we can name it as something maybe um, XML app and let's make the class public so we are also going to talk about this uh, public class later on we're going to talk about this internal public private and and the protected accessors which uh, gives uh, which actually defines the permission to use these classes in different contexts but for now let's stick to the public type public accessor type and we need the main function so the main function will be static it will also be void and if if it's uh, a little confusing to you, you, you don't need to worry. Just follow along because in the later chapters we'll understand everything from all this exercise that we wrote as public. We'll also understand what a class actually is and how to name the class and what actually is this main function. This is actually called uh, this is called a method inside object-oriented programming. And because C# -sharp is an object-oriented programming language, it's also a method a main method that initializes a class it's important every app every um, every class needs to uh, every program needs to have this main method now let's um, y use the system console and right line method and let's print out um, one message for our CMD prompt and this will be uh, XML application so let's save this as it's important to save the file according to our class name because we will be creating separate classes inside s in their own distinct separate scripts so so that it becomes easier when we want to package all our classes into one single program or one single solution it becomes easier for us so uh, easier for us to uh, address them directly so let's uh, name this as exactly as the class name which is the xml app and this will be a c sh uh, c sharp file and let's save this it's already saved and open up the command prompt and navigate to the uh, navigate to the directory where you have kept it so 
I think I have kept it inside my C sharp tutorials so it's inside C sharp tuts and I guess it's here yes so we need to compile this in a different manner in the previous example we have seen that we need to use the CSC and we pass along the file name that we need to compile but now because we are going to compile a documentation uh, a documentation commenting we're going to compile into an XML file we need to change the command so we are going to add a forward slash and doc then we are going to write what type of file that we want to output this actually specifies or this actually specif uh, tells the compiler what sort of file are are we gonna see when we want to output this script so we want to output an XML file and now let's name which file are we going to process so we are going to process the XML app.cs uh, now let's see what happens um, I guess I made a mistake. So the mistake I guess is in Okay. So let's change this and let's recompile this now it compiles perfectly let's clean up the screen and let's see what we have got we have actually got an XML file now this XML file this XML executable file will show us what sort of commenting or what sort of documentation we'll be getting so basically the executable file is the part of the C sharp script that we uh, created here that uh, it, it's actually this part of the message is from the class which I which we named uh, as the XML app so this class compiled and then it ran the main method and this main method contained the right line method in terms and this right line actually printed this message on our command prompt now we have also got another file called XML file so let's see what happens when we run this um, I guess we need to run that in a separate manner so let's navigate to that part let's have a look